Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Nellie and Ruth Designs. This is the Thursday. Um, I try to do my um, crossword puzzle challenges on Thursdays. It feels like it's been forever since I've done one. And um, this week is a, it's going to be a tribute. Um, some of you know I went to, I had a wake Monday evening, and I had a funeral Tuesday. And a dear friend passed away, um, 39 years old, and this is Deborah here. Beautiful, beautiful girl. She just was so exuberant about life, um, and everybody is going to miss her. Um, there was five girls in the family, and um, she's gone on to be with her dad and her uncle in heaven. She leaves behind a beautiful family. Um, and so I thought that it would be a wonderful tribute um, for Deb. If I did a little page, I want to um, take this and I, I will be folding it. And I'm going to try to make like a pocket with my items over here. So I can tuck this in and I want to make a little pocket here so I can tuck her memory card. Um, in there. Um, but yep, she she actually passed Monday at 3.30 um, just as the eclipse was starting to, you know, in certain areas, in our area, the total eclipse was around 3.15, 3.20. And um, she passed at 3.30 on Monday. <clears throat> so I just thought it would be a nice little tribute. You know, she was a friend um, she was a daughter to two beautiful children. She um, she was a mother to two beautiful children. She was a daughter. She was a sister. She had four siblings. She was an aunt. She was a niece. She was a cousin. Um, and to me, she was a friend. So I found some pattern girls here. I found these here, and I have this extra one because I want to put... Um, the four girls over here, the sisters. And then I found this fun one of Deb because Deb was just full of fun and love and, you know, the long blonde hair, always on the go. Um, so I thought I would use this one, which I have to cut a little bit more. Um, so, yeah. And um, everything went well. The wake was, you know, the wake was sad. Um, so many, so many, so many, so many um, photo boards, beautiful flowers, so many people coming, paying their respects, um, you know, coming to say their last goodbyes to Deb and paying respects to the family. And, you know, we, it's terrible because, <clears throat> you know, all the cousins, they come from downstate, so they have a four or five hour <clears throat> drive. Excuse me, um, but you know, I, I, they're, they have an aunt Patty. I call her Aunt Patty. Um, she's Aunt Patty to everybody. So when I saw Aunt Patty, she's in her, she's got to be in her eighties now, and I'm like, oh my goodness, like, you know, it's so sad that we only see each other. Um, you know, at fu funerals and weddings. I mean, the last time I saw Aunt Patty was at a wedding five years ago um, down in Florida. That's where the wedding was held. And um, yeah, it's just, so we got to get some of these younger, <laughs> these younger kids married off so we can actually have a a nice celebration to go to. So I pulled out, um, this is my, if you remember, I made a video. I can't remember where I got this from. I'll put it in the, the link though, in the description, but I don't have anything telling me. Um, I can't remember whose digitals these are, but I have a video on these digitals and they're beautiful peonies. Um, 
Deb loved roses and peonies. So I this is working out really well for me today because we have the all these beautiful peonies here. So I'm going to be using those. And I found, I went basically in my, you know, use it up box. I found these tags. Um, these were on a sheet. I cut these out. And then when I was going through my little pieces the other day um, from the previous video, uh, my scrap little box, I found these. So I thought I would incorporate these. So I think it'll be a fun little page. I just have to remember to leave, uh, kind of leave it open here. And I'm not sure how I'll do that. Um, so I can tuck her memorial, her mass card and her, um, her pamphlet in there. So what I might have to do, I'm even wondering if I should just do this on a piece of paper, then put the paper on here, which might work out actually better. Then I can just collage on the front and then attach the paper on three sides to make a nice tuck spot. So I have no paper pulled for that. Let me grab a piece of scrap. Um, maybe I could do, maybe I could, I'll find something. I will, because I don't have anything right here handy. I will grab, well, maybe I could do this. I have some paper here. I'll grab something. Let me, let me, <laughs> I'm so indecisive. I'm sorry. I'll grab something and I'll be right back. All right, I'm going to grab this because this is like a mauvey pink and Deb loved pink. You should have seen all the pink at the wake. Everybody came dressed, a lot of people came dressed in pink. A um, few people came in pink to the funeral because um, they just really wanted to celebrate her life. Oh, so let's see here. Um, both sides are the same. I guess I'll just measure it to... I'm just going to measure it. But that's not big news. I've got big, 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 big news for everybody. <laughs> um, Y'all know I had my foot surgery. We'll do, let's do six and three quarters, right? I'll do six and three quarters. Bye. Let me get this cut first. So we've got, oh, let's see here. Let's go this. And then six and three quarters. I'm going to go to seven. I'll just do it this way. All right, that's good. So, everybody knows I had foot, I had foot surgery. And um, my, we had a friend fly in from Florida <laughs> for the wake and funeral. It's actually my my um, former daughter-in-law, her best friend. So she suggested that we have Jenny up for dinner and because Karen knew she was going to be really busy with the family. I said, sure, love to see, <laughs> love to see Jenny again. Um, let her know. So, you know, I could have just let the house go well, I decided, oh no, you know, I've got to, I've got a vacuum, pick some things up. So I have three stools, very heavy stools, wooden stools, solid wood underneath my kitchen counter where we sit. So our kitchen counter is like this, and I have a stool here, I have a stool here, and I have a stool here. So the dogs like to lay under there um, only one at a time because it's not that big of a space. But they like to lay under there, and 
their fur, their little, you know, I get little doggy dust bunnies under there. I'm just going to move this over here. And um, so I said, well, you know what, I've, I've got to at least vacuum before Jen gets here. So I got the whole house vacuumed and oh my goodness, you know, things were going so well. And I had, I had my flip-flops on, which was the first mistake, but it's never been a mistake <laughs> in the past. Well, I went to, I pulled all the stools out so I could really vacuum well under there. And wouldn't you know, when I put the stool back underneath, something happened. It, like I said, the stool weighs at least 25 pounds. It's, it's heavy. And I went to put it in, and I don't know if I let go too soon or if I turned it, whatever. The whole thing fell. So this is a stool. The whole thing fell this way. And there's a good three-quarter inch rim on the seat. And when it fell, it fell this way, and it fell on the foot I had surgery on. Um, I have never felt such pain in my life. I my husband thought he heard he heard the bang. He thought that um, I had stubbed my toe. I, like I said, I have never ever ever in my life felt pain like I did at that time. I didn't know if I was going to vomit or pass out. Um, it was excruciating. And it took, it took probably an hour for me to calm down. Um, I had to have my son come over. I, I honestly thought I was going into shock. I would, my body was trembling and shaking all over. I was, I, it was just awful. So my son came over, sat with me. He got me calmed down. Um, my daughter-in-law got me. My husband first got me. He goes, what can I do? What? He's not good in situations like this. He kind of panics. And he kept saying, what can I do? What can I do? So I told him to get me two Tylenol <laughs> immediately. And I mean, I was still carrying on with the, the scream. I couldn't cry. It it was, you know, those movies that you watch and these men get tortured and they just scream and cry out. That's exactly how I felt. I'm <laughs> like, I could never be tortured because I would give it, I would give away all the information immediately. There would be no way. Um, So, needless to say, Monday before the wake, I had to, we had to travel an hour for, to go to the wake. And my doctor is halfway, it's the halfway point between where we had to go and my house. Um, so I did get in to my surgeon and they did x-rays. I fractured my second toe from the first joint up to the tip. That's just all shot. <laughs> um, and she says, you know, you really did a number. I mean, I've never, I've never seen toes turn so purple before in my life. And, um, she said to me that, you know, she goes, you, you did a number on these toes. And she said, you, she goes, they will heal. I mean, you do have that. She goes, you've got that fracture. Um, she says, but you're going to have to, once again, you've got to keep this foot elevated as much as you can for the next two weeks and ice it, ice, ice, ice it. Um, she goes, but unfortunately, I got bad news for you. And I'm like, uh-oh. She goes, I have to put you back into your post-surgical shoe. I'm like, oh, no. So I'm back in that. And uh, I'm going to cut this right down. So I just can't catch a break with this left foot. Um, I just can't catch a break. I'm 
So I figured I would do my videos in the morning because morning is good for me because I've been sleeping all night on it. And then um, in the afternoons, I'm going to just sit and relax. Um, I'll do a little reading, but I have to keep it elevated. Oh, I got home from that funeral yesterday, and even my, my big toe was swollen to the nines. It's like, oh. We were supposed to be going to Virginia, leaving on, leaving today, <laughs> to go to Virginia for a nice long weekend to see my girlfriend. And I had to cancel that trip. So I don't know. I'm just, I, I've got to figure this out. It was just a really freak accident. Or some people would say, just dumb luck. It's just, I don't know. I just, oh, it's crazy, crazy. So my husband says, you better start wearing your steel. I have steel-toed boots. So when I go to the quarry, you know, I have to, that's a requirement. I have to wear them. And I'm like, heck with that. I'm just going to hire somebody to come in clean, which I'm not. But you know, I just thought that was a, little better response but lesson learned um you know i just have to wear my sneakers or you know something when i clean at least vacuum and i'm moving the furniture because boy i'll tell you I know, and I, when I got there, my granddaughter says, she goes, Grandma, wh what is going on with your foot again? I'm like, oh, honey, don't even ask. I said, I said I did the dumbest thing. And she knows, I mean, she knows what those stools are like. And everybody is now like, yep, you're going to get rid of those stools? Because nobody likes them. But they're nice and solid and heavy. So when you sit down, you don't tip over. So I guess I'm going to be looking for different stools um, because I think everybody wants me to get rid of them now. Maybe I'll put this right down around here. That might be kind of good. That way I'll, I won't hide the flower. So that looks good there. So I think we're going to go that route. For that one, um, I don't know if I need to put that down there or not. I do like this. I'll try that there. No, I don't think I'm going to put that there. I think I think that's good. And maybe I have this peony. Maybe I'll just put. I want to put this little peony. Maybe I'll put the peony there. Okay. Then on this side. Um, you know, I was going to do the same thing. I was going to build a little, um, I have these here. This one here I'd like to cut down. I'd like to have this cascading down, right down around here, around the friend. So I think I might put that there. And then I can cut it off and take this other little part and maybe put it over here. Um, I could cut this down a little bit more. And then I got the one representing Deb over here. I want to use that. And I want to have another little tag. I want to put this over here just to kind of blend in. Um, I did have this over here. Only maybe I, oh, I still like to use these. I had this one over here under them. But I think I like it just like that. 
I know you're all probably saying, no, don't use that. Don't put that there. I wanted to have this up a little bit like that. Let me cut this down a little bit. So this one here, look, I'm using my, um, we'll do three inches for this. Let's do three inches for that. Okay, so we've got three inches there. And we're going to do it right about here. I'm just eyeballing this again. A little bit more. Just a little bit more. There. And the other thing, um, I guess I might as well ask everybody. Now, first, I should thank everybody for joining in. I've been reticent in doing that straight away. Um, so I'm going to thank everybody now for all of your um, love and support. I really appreciate it. I think I think I have the best subbies in the world. Um, I think you are all just the cat's meow and just... Just the best, the best, best, best. Um, and I want to thank everyone over on my Patreon. Got some fun things planned for over there. Just got to get my act together. And um, if you're if you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, I hope you're enjoying what you see and what I do. But I just I just really enjoy everybody. All your comments. Some of you are a bit sassy and I love it. Lisa. Um, I love bantering with some of the gals on here. And just having fun. Let's see, I don't know. I want this over here. I don't want her leg, kind of. Maybe I'll do it. Put this across here like that. She's all over the place, just like Deb was, all over. Especially you've seen her on the dance. Never seen anybody dance like she could. Oh, good Lord. When she was out on that dance floor, everybody flocked to her. <clears throat> um, maybe I'll leave it like that. Then I can tuck, I'll be able to tuck this little card right down inside here. I think that'll be pretty. And then... Yeah, I think that's good. I think we'll go with that. So let's start. I'm going to start with this here first. Maybe I'll do this and maybe I'll stitch around the outside. That might be kind of fun too, to stitch around this before I get the ladies down. So let's do that. Um, I'm just going to put it like here. Otherwise, I just won't remember. So yeah, I'm really... I am so upset about my foot. It was just a dumb. It was so stupid. You know, and then you think, oh, I should have just, you know, I should have gone to shower. I should have done this. I should have done that. I should have done this first. I should have asked my husband to put the stools away. You know, I could do that all day long. Woulda, shoulda, coulda. And uh, it doesn't get you anywhere, does it? Then my other, you know, my other girlfriend, she says, you know, maybe it happened for a reason. Maybe you weren't meant to go 
to Virginia. Maybe that was God's way of keeping you home. Maybe something bad would have happened to you on the road or I'm like, I know, I know. That I told her, I said, that's a good point. You just never know. So, it is what it is, right? Can't do anything about it. Okay, so we're going to... I told Jenny, when Jenny walked in the, the um, funeral... When she walked into the wake the other night, um, I said to her, I said, man, she works out a lot. She's she's young and um, she's just adorable. She's she's tall and um, really pretty girl. <laughs> and when she when she came for dinner, I said, you know, Jenny, just she likes to dress up. She lives in Boca Raton. I said, please, would you please just come? And, you know, your jeans and there's no need for you to dress up. We're just going to, you know, grill and we're going to hang out. So she did. And, you know, she had these jeans on and they looked great on her. I mean, <laughs> you know, youth. Um, so she she walks into the funeral. And again, everybody was dressing for Deb because Deb was just... You know, Deb was Deb. And so she had a really cute, it was a uh, um, pants, it was a short suit, okay? They were adorable shorts with, they were scalloped on the bottom, they were linen. And then she had a suit jacket that went with them. I'm like, oh my gosh, Jenny, you look adorable. And she had a, it was like a cream color and she had a navy a navy blue, um, you know, like kind of like a, I'm not going to say it was a tube top, but it was something like that, like a bandeau, bandeau, bandeau top. And she just had these high heels on, three inch heels. I'm like, oh my gosh, Jenny. I go, you look fantastic. And she's like, thank you. And I gave her a hug and I said to her, I go, Actually, I go, I want your legs. <laughs> I said, your legs are phenomenal. And she goes, nah, you don't want my legs. She goes, you want my toes. <laughs> I got laughing. And I'm like, are we supposed to be laughing at a wake? She goes, yes, Deb left, laughed all the time. She said, you can laugh out loud. Oh, my God. When she said that, she was so quick. She goes, no, you don't want my legs. She goes, you want my toes. <laughs> I go, oh, good Lord. You're right. I said, I want them both. I want your legs and your toes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Funny, funny, funny. Funny, funny, funny. You have to have some levity, don't you, at some of these, at some of these events. Otherwise, you'll drive yourself crazy. Drive yourself to tears. And I think Deb would have wanted us laughing and not crying, so. down. I don't always like gluing my stuff down like this, but I am still going to stitch. You're probably saying, ah, I thought you're going to stitch before you put the girls down, but I'm going to, I'm going to stitch right down here. So I haven't forgotten. Just changed my mind. Okay. All right. Let me get these 
stitched. Let's see, should I put, I think I can put this one on here before I go ahead and stitch. All right, we're going to put that just like that. Um, so I think I got off track, but I wanted to ask um, if there's anything, you know, what you like, what do you like to see me do most? I mean, <clears throat> um, is there anything you want more of? Is there something that you're like, well, no, we don't really do that. I know there's a wide variety of what everyone does and crafts and such. Um, I know y'all still like the, the these crossword puzzle collages, which makes me happy because I really like doing them. And I never know. I gotta find my. I really never know what I'm going to do. Like, I knew I had to do this crossword puzzle collage today. Um, and I... Let's see. I'm going to cut it right about there. I, um... I think I might have to draw a little line, because... Like, I... I had no idea I was going to, I think the Lord just guides me. Um, I didn't expect to do this page, you know, in tribute to Deb. Um, but it is a book that I'm going to be using. Um, you know, once I, once I complete it and I'll use it as a journal next year. Boy, my eyes. Sorry about that, gang. I think it's this pencil. It could also be the ink. That I've run off of this. I'm just going to cut it here. You're probably saying, just cut the dang thing. There we go. That's good. <clears throat> but yeah, so I know y'all like the... Um, crossword puzzle collages. I know you like that because you've, I've mentioned that one other time. Um, but if there's, you know, I do the Rolodex cards. I haven't done a Rolodex card in a little while. Um, Not that I haven't wanted to, just doing other things. Okay. All right, let's get this down. But the few scrapbook pages I did, you know, someone said, oh, yay, I'm a scrapbooker. You're doing scrapbook pages. So I will continue to do scrapbook pages. I haven't done one of them in a little while, but I will do more of them. So I need to work in my blue and white journal, too. I have so much ephemera that is sitting around. I need to get that in there. So, all right, I'm going to turn over here to my right side. I'm going to do stitching around both of these, um, this pocket and this page, and I'll be right back. So I have everything sewn. I did a little zigzag down here and on this side, and then I just did the straight stitch around there. 
um, got that done, got this done. I'm going to cut out this here I want to put on. I don't like this big thing here, so I'm going to take this little peony um, bouquet, and I'm going to put that right on there like that. Because she needs to be surrounded with flowers. Beautiful, beautiful flowers. So we're going to put that right about there. I'll move it over a little bit like that. Okay. Okay. So now we have our pocket there. I can put that down. We'll glue that down. All right, so we're gonna put that about here. Oops, gotta get this down. See me ripping that off down the road. All right, so here we have our pocket. Get this down, and then I can tuck her little memorial card right in here like that, which is just perfect. So that will go on that side. And then I th think this here, I think I'll, I guess I'll glue this down. Then I can put Deb's, I actually have two. Um, we'll get this down like this, right this way. Just make sure I glue this down properly. So this is another, I think, really nice way um, to keep someone in remembrance, you know, as you're flipping through your journal and and it's just, I did this for my mom or my, um, well, my mom's neighbor, you know, both of her neighbors my girlfriend's mother when they passed away and it's just it also helps with the healing process and just think about all the really nice times you had and it's just a nice way to You know, and then that way, too, down the road, if, you know, you want to write a letter or you want to make little notes or memories, you know, you can do that and you can tuck it in um, your page. Got a little tiny pocket here, too. I could always tuck something in there because I didn't glue that down all the way. And then I can take... I can take Deborah's. I don't want to crinkle her face because she was just so I'm just going to put it like this. Deborah Jane Hurley. Mm. And then I can just tuck this. Right in the side here. Just like that. And she's going to be tucked away all right in there, safekeeping. And then again, I have her memory card here. And I just think, I just think this is a nice little tribute, nice little celebration. And I'm going to take my little peony, and then we'll be done. I'm going to take my little peony sign. And I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it right down here in this corner. I'm going to put that right there. 
There. There we go. Oh, so that is this week's um, crossword puzzle collage. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. Very uplifting, pretty, a couple nice remembrance pages. So, um, thank everybody again for joining in. I appreciate you all. And, um, you know, just again, remember, this is a nice way to um, memorialize someone that you care about and keep them by your side, all tucked in for safekeeping. And um, I will see you in my next video. All right, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.